Hello guys, welcome to another review. Um, today we're going to review Newcastle Brownell. Comes in at 4.7% uh, volume. So, you know, sort of bang average. Um, I've not actually tried this before. I've seen it in the pubs and all that. I know people call it, a, I used to call it a bottle of dog. And uh, yeah, I've, well, in the past, I tend to always stick with lager, to be honest. It's only lately I've been trying different owls, craft beers, all that sort of thing. So, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go and see what I think of it. I mean, yeah, like I say, I've never tried it. So I've tried a few um, brown owls now and I don't mind some of them. Uh, so let's give it a go. Um, see if it lives up to its reputation. Uh... It's a 550 ml bottle. Uh, I think it cost me £1.65 in Tesco's. So it's, yeah, it's quite a big bottle. It's not a bad price. Let's get it open, see what we think. Cool. It's uh, fizzing up a bit. Let's have a sniff. Get the, old get the old snout in there. See what it smells like. It don't smell great. It smells a bit <laughs> kind of weird thing to say, but it smells like if you imagine pennies and toffee mixed together. Like well, it's got that weird sort of metallic y like coppery sort of smell to it. So it's not looking good. But yeah, that's that's what I'm picking up anyway. Uh, I can tell you, it does contain syrup, glucose. Mm. So yeah, don't smell the best. Let's get it in the glass and see if it tastes any better than it smells. So far, not looking great, I'll be honest. All right. <coughs> I forgot it's a 550 bottle there. Eh? Right, uh, there we go. There she is. Say sort of medium, sort of carbonated. Head looks pretty decent. Doesn't look too bad now it's in the glass. See if it smells any. Nah, still getting the same sort of horrible smell off it. Anyway, don't really matter what it smells like. It matters what it tastes like, doesn't it? Let's face it. And so let's see what it's like. That's actually not that bad. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. I thought we'd oh, fuck it out. Excuse me, my chair's, my chair's just broke. Kids have been messing about with it. Right. <laughs> chair substitution. <laughs> Bloody hell. I thought it seemed like it was sinking in a bit. Um, yeah, where was I? <laughs> yeah, it tastes better than what I thought. Um, let's go again. Quite light tasting. Like the other brown owls I've tasted have been quite strong. Um like six, seven percent, stuff like that. It's quite refreshing for a brown owl. Uh it's it's not great, do you know what I mean? It's, it's just not terrible, and I really thought it was gonna be terrible. Um Yeah, it's got one kind of a subtle sort of taste to it. Can't really describe it. Um, like a little bit of dark fruity, plummy taste. It's quite easy drinking. It's really not that bad. I'm sure there's many, many better 
uh, brown owls out there and I'm looking forward to trying them. This is what this channel is all about. My little adventure, trying all these uh, different beers out and letting you guys know what I think. So I'd love some recommendations. Uh, review wise, I'm not review wise, rating wise, sorry. I'm not quite with it today. Um, I'm going to go for a six. Actually, 6.5, because it, it's cheap. I've got to take the price of it into account. So, you know, it's like pretty much a pint bottle, 165. It's better than what I thought. I mean, I was thinking the worst. I don't know why. I think you just hear bad things about it. But personally, I don't think it's that bad. So I'm going to go for a 6.5 on the brow now. Uh, on that note, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please let me know any suggestions that I could do to make my channel better. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care all. Bye-bye.